Hey everybody, mowers and blowers here again. This is uh, item number four from my Motherload 8 pick. It was that uh, free McCullough or Mac 3216. 3216 uh, means 32 cc's and a 16 inch long blade. Anyway, uh, so he told me it didn't work. He just gave it to me, I got it for free. Uh, looks like in, it's in good shape. Usually with these small engine um, items like leaf blowers, weed whackers, chainsaws, usually what's uh, wrong with it is the um, fuel lines are all brittle and needs changing and all that stuff or the filter came off or the carburetor is probably dirty. Uh, this seems pretty complete and intact and uh, I just put some two cycle oil and uh, gas mix in here and if you'll see the primer bulb is rubbery, almost new, you know. Fuel does get through it, and it seems to be working properly. So, <laughs> believe it or not, once in a while you, you get lucky and uh, you don't have to change the fuel lines. Uh, I may have just jinxed it, of course. but um, So, the choke lever is here, almost integrated flush into the top cover here. So, that's choke, and that's run. I've been uh, priming it for a bit, so it's leaking somewhere. Uh, here's the uh, kill switch. Stop is on the bottom, run is on the top. That could always be it too, because it it feels a little squirrely, you know? A little bit, but maybe it, that's not the problem. Anyway, um, the trigger with the safety. This is where the um, chain bar lube oil goes, which I just filled up. And uh, I pulled it probably 20 times. Doesn't have any signs of starting, not even a sputter, nothing. So either it's not getting any spark or that carburetor is just filthy. So I'm going to take this cover off and see what we find on the inside. Just took the cover off and, um, you know, looks pretty good. <laughs> Filter's, you know, a little dirty. But honestly, it doesn't look too bad. I'm going to take that screw off and see what's under there. So under that cover is the carburetor. And from what I could see, it looks pretty clean. Some debris there could cause a clog. I'm going to loosen these two bolts now to take this cover off. After that cover is off, you can now clearly see the carburetor. Just a choke lever. Honestly, man, it looks pretty clean. But uh, here, you can tell that it's working because when I press the focus, press the primer bulb, you can see fluid entering. See? I just disconnected that uh, return line, and what happens is when you push the primer bulb, it shoots uh, gas into the carburetor, but it's also supposed to drain through that hole, you know? So I think there's a clog in there, which is, you know, because there's supposed to be um, fuel that comes out of there back into the tank. That's the return tube, and uh, gas just builds up in here and doesn't go anywhere, which is not right. It should come out, you know? So that could be the culprit, you never know. But it uh, looks like the lines are all right, though. So I'm gonna take this carburetor off and open up uh, both sides, diaphragm, the metering diaphragm side and the fuel pump side. There it is, there's the carburetor. All it was was just that uh, throttle linkage here. Remember where you, the hole went. This one goes to the return. This one is the fuel line. Inside looks pretty clean. I know you can't see it. It's very clean. Even that mesh part there is clean. There's a little residue there, but not much. I can clean those out. I put the metering diaphragm, metering diaphragm back on again and cleaned it all out. This is a Zama. I'm going to flip it around and check that part out. 
metering diaphragm. See, seems rubbery. Well, not that rubbery, a little crispy, a little plasticky, but when I pushed down, you see, stuff came out. And it's pretty clean. So I just cleaned the carb really well. Um, with the top covers on, I just left that cover off so far. And I uh, pulled it about 10 times and still no signs at all of it starting. So I'm thinking it's the spark plug now. I'm gonna have to just check it, you know. On this model, it's over here, so it looks like, uh, just take the boot off and take the spark plug out and check out the condition. As you can see, it has spark. Nice. Just gotta tighten that chain. It idles well. Tighten the chain was very easy. These two screws right here. I just loosened them up and pulled the bar straighter. So now it's uh, nice and snug. So all in all, man, took me about half an hour, and we just uh, basically tested for uh, fuel, and then we tested for spark, and uh, now we got this baby running well. Really easy. Got this for free. And now it's running like a champ. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.